Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be taking you on a journey on how I created this makeup look here. I just threw on a quick gig, I just styled a quick wig and I'm feeling myself but I'm pretty much just going to be painting my mug. I'm going to be showing you the things that I do to get that signature Robin Hearts beat and just kind of guide you through the steps on how I create this fantasy right here. So for the first time on my channel, you're pretty much seeing me in drag. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. So what I usually do with the darkest foundation, I'll pull this hat back a bit, is I just go in kind of to the perimeter of my face and just kind of get that on there first and I'll go in and blend it out afterwards then. So like the top of the forehead, the temples, around where the jaw is. And I just focus this on the outside perimeter of the face. With the eyebrows as well, since I have them glued down, I like to go in with the darker foundation, just because it does have a little bit more of an orange tone to it. It will color correct the blue tones that I have here in my eyebrows. This time I'm gonna go in with NC20. And with that, I'm just going to get this and I'm going to stamp it onto the middle of the face. Everything that I want lifted forward, so like the cheekbones, the nose, the centre of the forehead, the chin, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this on. And I'm just going to grab, grab a damp beauty sponge and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stipple that over the skin. So I'm just going in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's in the shade... 4.5. I like to use the luminous silk over these heavy foundations just because it does give more of a natural skin finish. And just with this, I'm going to go onto the nose, the middle of the forehead, under the eyes, onto the cheeks, and just a little bit on the chin there as well. I'm going to go into P. Louise base, and this one is in. Uh, 0.5 it's called rumor I tend to just put it directly onto my face and then blend it so I'm just going to go in with the brush that I put my lightest foundation on and just going to tap that out and then going in with that beauty blender again and just pressing the product into the skin now I'm just going to go in with my Krylon TV paint stick. This is in 7W, it's a bit more of a warm toned brown. So since I'm lifting my cheeks up today, I'm going to start by putting it here and just dragging it down and into the face. Just like that. Yeah. And on the forehead, just kind of placing it here. Jaw, I just drag it from the ear down to the chin, just like that. A little bit under the lip there, and then just down through the nose, and a little bit under the nose here. So I'm just going to go in with my beauty sponge now, and I'm just going to stipple over the edges just to blend everything out. For the nose, I wouldn't use a sponge. I usually end up going in with a nose contour brush. This is the Morphe E62. And what I like to do is I just get the brush and stamp it over where I place the product just to pick a little bit of it up. And then I like to continue the line up my nose with that. And with the product that's still on the nose, I just ever so lightly drag the brush backwards down my nose. So what I do now is I'm just going to go in with the Krylon Clown White just to kind of further highlight my face. So what I like to do with this is I get a brush like this. It's just pretty much like one of the foundation brushes but a whole lot smaller so I use it for concealer. This is the Morphe M173 and just picking up a little bit of product, not too much. I like to first of all put it in the middle of my head just putting it on all the highest points of the face and under the eyes just to brighten like so and what I'm going to do now is carve out the shape of my eyebrow so I usually start my eyebrow somewhere down here close to the eyeshadow that I'm going to do I 
be getting my concealer brush again, just dipping into the white a little bit and just stamping that on where the brow bone would be. Today I am using the Sleek Brow Kit. This is in dark. I'm just gonna grab this brush here. It's very small, it's very stiff. So I don't start up here or else I end up having too harsh an eyebrow. I like to start back a little bit and just Follow the line that you've just created with the concealer. So now what I do is I usually just start above where the arch is and just drag that back like so. Just dragging this up to connect it to that line there. So once I have this shape down, I just like to fill that in. So I'm gonna just kind of stamp on how far I want the eyebrow to come into the middle. Lightly go back and forward with the brush. Like so. What I'm gonna do is go back in with the concealer brush and just getting the white again. I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna underline the eyebrow I've just put down. Then with that concealer brush again, I'm just gonna reinforce the contour on the nose. So what I usually like to do is first of all, just draw that one line down. Then I go into my pinky finger and just blend that into the skin. And I use a little bit of it and just put it into the front of the eyebrow. So I'm just gonna get the Beauty Blender again and tapping under the eyes to get rid of any creasing. So what I do is I just get my powder put it out onto a little tray like so and instead of baking it onto my skin I get a big fluffy brush and pick up the powder and I just go and tap it onto the face and I'm just going to go in under the eyebrows as well with the beauty blender because that cream paint that I used for the white is a little bit heavy so I'm just going to put that on like that and then go back in with some powder on the brush again just dusting it in the circle like so. So now that I have all of my base makeup down and I have everything set with powder, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in my powder contour and I'm gonna go in my blush and I'm just gonna reinforce all of the contours that I've just put down. And I'm just gonna go in and reinforce the cheek. So I like to start down where the hollow of the cheek is and work my way up. Since I have more of a square shaped head because I'm a man, I tend to have my highest points here and here so I make sure to just bring the contour shade over that just to kind of blend that back and give the illusion that I have a rounder shaped forehead. I'm just going to make one clean swoop down the nose and after that I'm going to go in and just kind of chisel away at the nose. Get under where the new tip of my nose is like so you can see it gives a little bit of a lift. Now I'm going to go with my blush, um, this is a MAC blush, I have no idea what it is, picking up a lot of it, and then I'm just going to stamp that product on just to put a bit of life back into the face, and I like to get a bit of blush and put it right here above the eyebrow, and then with the tip of the brush I'm just going to go over the tip of my nose. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and cut under the cheek. But not bringing it all the way back up here because if I do that I'm getting rid of the line that I created back here. I have this translucent powder as well but it's really good for just getting in under the eye. So what I like to do as well is just on the side of the nose and then bring that down here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in with black eyeshadow so I'm just going to get the James Charles palette and I'm going to go in with the black from that and I'm just going to kind of map out the shape that I want to go for. So let's get up close and personal. I'm just going to go in with this flat top concealer brush and I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow and just kind of roughly map out the shape that I want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it just above the eye, pretty much bring it up and bring it out like that, just so it's nice and snatched. So 
So you roughly just want it like that because from face forward it goes right up and out but from the side I do tend to have it a little bit curved. So now that I have the shape mapped out I'm just going to go in with a buffing brush and I'm just going to tap over the edges just to kind of blend that out a little bit and doing slight back and forward motions. Just going in with a fluffy blending brush. And under the eye, I'm gonna make this go right out like so. So just kind of stamping that on and then going back in with your buffer brush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get the Jeffree Star Concealer in Drug Lord and I'm just going to use that to cut the shape of my lid. So I'm just going to start from the middle. While the product is still wet, just get your finger and blend it out at the front like so and blend it back towards the black like that. And then going in with that fluffy blending brush with the black, just run the black back into the white. So I'm going to get a small brush like this, something that's very flat, something that I can just go in and do the bottom of my eye with. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in with that super white again and just picking a little bit of it up on the brush. I'm just going to start by tucking this white into my waterline. And I'm just going to go in and set that with a white eyeshadow. So now I'm just going to go in with some liquid liner and I'm just going to line my eyes and I'm just going to do my inner corner flick as well. So now I've got the other eye done, I just popped on a top lash, I'm wearing stacked lashes so I think I have five pairs glued together on the top of my eyes and I'm going to just go into the ends here and just reinforce these lines and just kind of go back over, pick up a little bit of that brown and mix it with a lighter brown as well and just kind of stamp that on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get my highlight. I'm using the MAC, uh, MAC highlight in, it's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. I really like this highlight because it has like micro glitter pigment in it. And um, so on top of it actually illuminating the skin, it has a little reflex in it too. So it does kind of help kind of shine back a little bit more. I've literally, I bought this and when I first bought it, I was like, I think it was like 17 and I just wanted to do boy makeup and I was like constantly looking for a highlighter that didn't have glitter in it. So I bought this, I think I paid like 35 euro for the highlight and then just put it away in my drawer because I was like, I don't like how glittery this is. But then I found it again and actually opened it like two or three months ago and since I found it, I can't stop using it just because I love how it goes onto the skin. I don't have setting spray, so what I'm gonna do is spray the brush, and before it dries, I'm just gonna bang it onto the face like so. I like a lot of highlights, so I'm probably gonna put this on nearly all of my face. So I get it on my pinky, and just lightly tap it on there. So what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to be using a pale nude, I'm going to go in with a medium toned brown, a bit more on the darker side, a bit more cool toned as well. 
just because since I am going to be lining my lips and I want that to look a bit more receded and I want the middle to look a bit more forward, a cool tone colour will help actually push that back a little bit. And that's where you should be after you've lined your lips. Now I'm just going to grab a new lipstick and I'm going to fill it in. So now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to get the lipstick and I'm just going to pop it on here in the middle. And buff out the edges of the eyeshadow. So that's pretty much the look finished anyway. I'm just going to pop on a wig and pop on a quick outfit and I'll be back to you to show you the finished results. So this is the finished result. Here's the mug, here's the wig. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you learned the trick or two today. If you do recreate anything, I would really love to see it on Instagram or on anything. Even if you just want to send it to me, I'd really love to see it. If you want to see me recreate any other makeup looks or do any other wig styles or do any other videos, please leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And at least then I'll be able to get to it and produce content that you want to see. So hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button and like this goddamn video because I put a lot of work into this and I ain't doing this for nothing girl. So, if you want to catch me on Instagram, you can catch me on Robin Hearts, which I'll pop up here somewhere, or I'll pop up here somewhere, and you get to catch up on all the shenanigans, the tomfoolery, the jokery, We're, it's all there, it's coming, lots of exciting things to come. So, thank you so much for watching guys, if you want to see more drag and you want to see more looks like this, please do let me know, either send me a message on Instagram, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And as I said, whatever you want to see, I want to make for you. So please do let me know because it does drive me to create more content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.